Here at Cub, we've come a long way since the original drifter in the 70s. Behind me here is the current drifter, the award-winning current drifter that just won best build quality at the recent Camper Trailer Australia Magazine Camper Trailer of the Year Awards. The walkthrough I'm about to give you, it's a little different to our usual one in that what I'm going to explain is the the different options that we've fitted here. They're not all available at the moment, but some of them will be. But what it allows me to, to show you is the way that Cub, as a manufacturer from the ground up, can customise a camper to your needs. Okay, one of the current options that we've fitted to this drifter is the extended drawbar. So what that does, it adds an extra 400 millimetres to the length of your drawbar. And it's perfect for uh, vehicles that have got tray backs on them or you just need that little bit of extra room to open a rear door on your four wheel drive. One of the features we've fitted to the camper is the jockey wheel clamp here on the winch post. Now that gives you the option to store your jockey wheel while you're traveling. Now fitted to this drifter is the, it really is industry leading hitch, the DO35 from Cruise Master. One of the things you've probably noticed already is the color of this drifter. Now, it's, it's a matte finish colour called Monument. Now, the matte finish is all the rage in the automotive industry at the moment. We've had a lot of requests for it. So, going forward, this is going to be the standard colour in a lot of the off-road models that we do. We've had a lot of call for different storage options in the campers, and we've listened to people, and we've come up with a couple of things on this side of the camper. Up at the top here, stainless steel drawer, storage drawer at the top here. All right, perfect for some of the stuff you might want to just keep up out of the way. Down the bottom, there's a slide here. That can be used for, for example, if you've got a, a, something heavy uh, that's a bit awkward to get into there, you could use it for a generator or something like that. Um, they're available individually when they do become a selectable option. Now this particular drifter is fitted with the Extreme Pack. Now that's already an option in all the off-road campers. Uh, so what that gives you is the Goodyear Wrangler MTR. There's a mud terrain tire. Right? And also um, with the Extreme Pack it upgrades your ATM by 50 kilos. We make quite a few changes to the functionality of the electrical system in this drifter, this particular one. It's what's really interesting is we've added in the, the red vision system uh, with the TVMS. So it's a total vehicle management of the electrics in this camper. And it's the graphical display offered by the red vision screen here really gives you a total picture of what's happening in your camper trailer. Behind here, the sensor light just comes on. You've got two 200 amp hour lithium batteries. Now it's a massive amount. You've got 400 amp hours of lithium power in this particular camper. The lithium options, they are a selectable feature at the moment. Um, we can do them on all of the campers. Everyone's looking for storage features on their camper trailer. So what we did with this particular camper for the competition was added these rear storage boxes. The design itself isn't finalised, but uh, you can be assured that Cub is always looking to improve their product and add functionality to where you need it. Now this cool little gadget on the back here is a rear view camera. It provides an amazingly clear picture and I found it especially useful when travelling on the freeway at high speed. You can see all the traffic behind you, it made me a lot more confident when I'm changing lanes. Not to mention when you're reversing into a, a, a van site or your camping site. Just makes things a whole lot easier. Now this is also one of the things we'll be implementing in the near future. Now at the moment we're out here in the kitchen area of the drifter. Now this kitchen here and the side shelf, they're already part of the whole drifter setup. What we've added is this light here. Now that provides a whole heap of light, as you can see here. Just gives that, that workspace the light you need and also, it's going to be one of those selectable options for you. So now we're sitting inside the drifter. This is where some of the magic has really happened with this camper trailer. So what we've done up this end, we've got a pillow top in a spring mattress, the second bed in a spring, these cushions I'm sitting on, 
Italian leather, right? Can't get much better than that. Down here we've got a stereo, you've got a heater. Underneath here we've got a hot water unit. Under where I'm sitting, we've got a 2000 watt Red Arc inverter. There's a space heater under there. It's got its own Wi-Fi router in here. I've already mentioned about the Italian leather cushion covers that we've got fitted to this particular drifter. In addition to that, we've got these corner cushions in here. Now that really expands your seating capabilities inside. For all those interested in the technology side of things, you might be interested to know that the Wi-Fi router that we've got in here obviously runs off a SIM card. So what you can do, you can dial the number of the SIM card that's in the router. It will then give you the latitude and longitude coordinates of your camper trailer. One of the options that had a heap of comments recently has been the camouflage canvas. Now it, it suits this camper particularly well, especially with the monument colour that's coming out across our range. So as you can see from what you've just looked at, Cub are always looking for ways to improve and expand on the offering that we can give you as our customer. So we're really looking forward to your feedback on this camper.